Good morning, friends. Another day in paradise here in beautiful New Brunswick. Take a look at my surroundings, a hummingbird feeder and a hanging basket, the beautiful sunshine. It's a lovely day. Well, today I'm going to talk about Medicare costs for seniors. Never mind that. What about accessibility? Doctors are retiring left and right, and I don't want to blame for that. It's the Canadian Medical Association who hoarded their positions like uh, union representatives uh, fighting off scabs from other countries because they weren't qualified to handle the medical the profession in Canada, in our great white north. It's, to me, it's a form of racism. I mean, when somebody from Nigeria or the Philippines uh, can't get a job without having to go all the way back to school and, and redo the things they already know, I mean, if there was any care within the profession, they would be bringing them on as nurses or doctor practitioners that would be assistants and... Uh, that's not happening. So what we have now is uh, the Canadian medical system can't handle the load. So while I love Canada, it's nice having the four seasons and the cool weather. Uh, the Philippines has a lot to offer and you know it's cheap to live there. I can afford a doctor. A CAT scan will cost me $25. I can go in and see a doctor almost at a moment's notice. I pay my 400 pesos, <clears throat> which is about 10 bucks. I walk in a pretty much any hospital. And uh, in the larger centers, they've got good care in Cebu and Manila. And if I'm really stuck, I could fly to Thailand, which have great uh, medical, uh, ho private medical hospitals. But I can do that at any time. In Canada, I'd be in a waiting list. Now, I granted that the the technical uh, stuff they've got here. I mean, I had the surgery last last year, which was done here in Canada, and was properly diagnosed. And I commend my urologist, um, who will remain anonymous, um, but uh, he did a, a bang up job here in Fredericton. However, the, the thing is being able to get him to see you. the. Uh, the doctor I was I was assigned to uh, was from Iran, I think it was, and uh, there she'd be making uh, about twenty five hundred dollars a month. Here she'd be making maybe a quarter million. So um, I didn't find her very uh, very uh, bed like mannerish. So. Um, I try and stay away, but anyway, that took three years to get a doctor, whereas I could walk in the Philippines and get one like that. So I'm tossed between two worlds. I love Canada. I love the Philippines. So uh, if push comes to shove and I got suddenly sick, I'd like a Canadian hospital in the Philippine Islands. Okay. That's it for today. Have a great one. Bye.